Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I know it's in here, I just have never handled it before. Uh, this was sent by Eric, another knife that was sent by Eric. I really appreciate that, uh, you lending me this knife. I'm going to link this right down below. I, I don't know if it's available right now or not, um, but uh, I'll make sure that there are links uh, either way. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. We have another Sandrine knife here. Uh, and this is going to be a newer model. If I can figure out how to <laughs> do this every time. There we go. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So this is called... Ooh. Ooh. This is called... The uh, Monza. Ah, okay. So right off the bat, they insist on this finish. Sandrine knives. You guys do some really interesting stuff. But I, I don't think it's possible that you have not heard from the knife community about this. This doesn't look good. And we have seen you do other finishes, right? So... Stop doing this finish. How, uh, however, there there are some positives here. <laughs> right off the bat, this is a much bigger, much more full-size knife. Utilizing this little, yeah. So this is much less sharp. This little lock back here, right? If you uh, have uh, watched other videos on Sandrine knives. Um, but this, uh, this Monza here is bigger. Uh, we have titanium scales with some very nice little diagonal milling lines. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, the handle is much more filled out. It's still a very, very thin knife, but it's much larger. This lock back here is much easier on the fingers. Let's try. Yeah, reverse flick, no problem. Much easier on the fingers because it's not this corner of sharp metal, right? Um, and that works really well, actually. And then uh, easy deployment with a thumb stud. So this is not steel. This is polyhedral tungsten carbide. Um, and it's going to cut. It's going to cut for a long time. In fact, what what's your favorite super steel, right? Look down at your knife right now. Tell me what your super, your favorite super steel is. Tell me all about that super steel. Now stop. Uh, this thing's going to cut longer. <laughs> it's just it's just what's going to happen here with uh, with tungsten carbide. You can see how they've done this edge. We've got an enormous flat, which is interesting, and then there's a little you know. A short little bevel, and then there's the cutting bevel down at the end. Super duper 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 sharp. Thicker than you might imagine, but still, um, the way that they grind these, sorry, I'm getting a piece of paper. Yeah, the way that they grind them, um, odd, but, whew, whew, man, that is definitely, definitely a laser beam. What's crazy is, you know, if they started this flat higher, right, and that bevel right here was, it, it, you know, dropped, I, well, I guess angles. It can drop aggr as aggressively as they want it to from wherever, right? But they could make this slice here. I don't, it doesn't need to. It's just, it's just funny, right? It's probably, my guess is, the reason they do this with the flat like this, maintaining the full thickness down to this point, is probably to maintain some structural integrity in the blade, which is very, very thin. Look at this. Interesting. Can we... What's happening here? Hmm. Okay. Mm, interesting. Let's go all the way out to the tip there, and then I'll give you guys a look there at the blade. That finish just looks terrible, but the blade is done extremely well. Like, the actual cutting edge is done extremely well. Real nice. Real nice stuff. I know you guys like these close-ups. I need to make sure and do them more often when I'm doing unboxings. Here's a close-up of the spine lock thing, whatever you call that, for Sandrine. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is much more compelling to me than their other stuff. These knives tend to be very, very expensive, right? And this is not going to be any different. Expect it to be expensive, but... Wow. For those of you who just wanted a little bit more robustness in the, you know, the Sandrine knives in the past have felt like somebody dropping a Heliphant crate motor into a Honda Civic. 
Um, sorry if you own a Honda Civic. I think Honda Civic owners know, you know, it's just a Civic. <laughs> Dropping a big motor in kind of a nothing frame, right? Um, I'm sure I'll hear about that in the comments section, one way, shape, or form. But uh, now we have, uh, we got a much more, I think, deserving overall frame for this Super Blade, right? A um, little bit of stick there. That might be the fault of me. Yeah, I think maybe I just flicked it out really hard, which is understandable. In any case, lock stick will go away over time if it does occur. Completely and totally solid. Oh, is it? Oh, is it not totally? Yeah, we're solid. We're solid. Yeah, we're solid. I must not have locked it out all the way. Very interesting. This is not a review. This is just an unboxing and first impressions of the knife. Like I said, I will link it right down below. These things are super weird, but the people who own them and use them, from what I've heard in my comments section, absolutely love them. For everybody else, they are certainly a, a hot talking point. Um, thanks again to uh, Eric for sending this in for me to take a look at. He will, of course, get this knife back. This is not mine to keep. That's going to be pretty much it today. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.